two welders. My name is Dave, and here we are at the weld shop in Northport, Florida. And uh, today I'm going to demonstrate two basic welding rods. We've got the 718 and we've got the 611. Both are 1 8 inch. Okay. And on the 718, we're going to be running that at 130 amps. And uh, the 611 will be running that little less, 95 amps. And uh, each rod requires a little different manipulation. And uh, each rod serves a different purpose. You probably already know that. The 611 is kind of a hot burning rod, really good for the root bead, you know, like a first pass, especially over rusty, dirty metal. And the 718 is a stronger rod, and uh, that's going to be good for a cover pass, you know, like a pipe or structural steel or something you want super strong. You know, stronger than 6011. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other weld machine that we're going to be using. And uh, we're going to be welding on electrode positive. Okay. Okay, here's the face of the machine. Dynasty 200. It's an inverter machine. Does AC and DC, TIG welding and stick welding. It's kind of the side of it. All right, now I'm going to set you back up on the table. And since we got it set at 130 amps, we're going to run one pass. And these plates I've already got prepared. Now we're going to clamp this to the table just so it doesn't move. Move you in a little bit closer. Okay, here's the uh, the electrode 718, and I'll be uh, I'm going to be striking an arc. I'm going to do it from here. And I'll be dragging it backwards. Okay, here we go. that off the side and bring the 6011 in. Now 
Now I'm going to do the same technique, same drag technique here, but just because where the camera's at, it's going to be a little bit easier. I'm going to, I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it this. No, I'll drag it the other way. I'll keep it going the same way as before. Hopefully, I don't bump the camera. Once I initiate the arc, I'm going to keep a, keep a fairly tight arc in, and the rod's going to be in the puddle the whole time. I'm not going to do a whip. A lot of people use a whip, but in this joint configuration, I'm just going to do small little circles, and it's going to make a really pretty bead, but it gives a lot of penetration. I started that at 130 amps, it was a little too hot. I got it turned down to 95 amps, we're ready to go. Hopefully you can see that puddle. And I'm just doing a little circular motion, kind of widening out the beads. And we're getting a lot of penetration out here. It's probably hard to tell through the camera. All right, now, earlier, I had uh, run some beads off camera and it had them already chipped. But here, let's get a little bit more uh, light on there. That's what the flux looks like on the bead, all that smoke, okay? Now after you chip off the flux, this is what it should look like. Okay, let's put that back. Now here's the, um, the 6011. A lot of smoke, a lot of flux. Looks kind of cruddy. That's just how it looks. Yeah, I'm going to set these two down. Oh, that's hot. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Zoom out a little bit. There's a the 718. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this it's kind of hard to show on the camera, but the 6010 has a little bit of ripples because I was doing the weave technique, kind of circles. If you do this step technique where you step out, it'll have big ridges all right so that's the end of the video if you have any questions you know leave them in the comments below thanks